Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be magnified forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please find me like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Someone try to describe you. This is to tell you that this message, God is defending somebody. And you are the person that God is defending. You don't even know what is going on, but God is defending you. God is defending you. They try to describe you in a very wrong way, like try to paint you black. Try to paint your image, your identity. Like when they want to describe you, when they want to describe you, they always look for bad something. Like they're, they're only looking for a bad way to describe you. Now, you not sit down and think about it. Does it mean that you have not done good thing in your life? Oh, all your life you have not. You have done a lot of good things. You know, we're in a generation where people who are not perfect want you to be perfect by, by force. They have their flaw. They have their mistakes. They have their ups and downs. But when they look at the eyes of somebody else, they want that person to be perfect. Oh, the person must not make mistake. You must not make mistake. You must not have error. You must be perfect. If there is any error at all, they will use the error to attack you. That is the world that we are living. That is the world that we are living. That is what happened to that woman with Jesus. The adulterous woman. Every one of them, they see themselves as a perfect human being. Oh, they are perfect. They have not committed any error before. They have not sinned before. They are like, okay. Now we have to kill this one. And Jesus said, let he with us sin be the first to cast the stone. The Bible said none of them was able to cast the stone first. You know, sometimes as human, we fall into error. I know there are some persons who will say, I, I, said, I did nothing wrong. I never fall into error. I am not perfect. Me, myself, that is releasing this word. I fall into error multiple times because the Bible says virtual, the virtuous man will fall several times, but several times he will rise again. The truth is that we don't dwell in errors. We don't live in error. We might fall into error, but we don't live our lives in error. Falling into it and dwelling in something is two different things. That is somebody that dwells in it is someone that knows and is doing it. Somebody that fall into error is somebody that mistakenly fall into it even without knowing and the moment they find out they start asking the lord for mercy that is the difference they try to describe you the words that they always want to use to describe you they they try to use the bad 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 example to describe you but yet they have not been able to describe you the way they really want to do you know why? Because God is defending you. They don't even know why all they're describing about you is not working against you. Why? Because God is defending you. He's the one that searches the hearts of men. He's the one that sees people. Somebody hear me. God is defending somebody. And that person is you. That person is you. Hallelujah. You are something, you are someone that cannot be described by the enemy. They cannot describe you. You know why? If they describe you in a good way, they have they, that is to say they have accepted defeat. So in case you are like, why are they painting me black? Why are they telling things I did not do? Why are they lying on me? Why this? Why that? You need to understand if they describe you with the real person that you are, the good person, that person that is trying to be the best, <laughs> that try, that person that is trying to do what is right, if they describe you like that, it means that they have accepted defeat. They will not want to accept that defeat. <laughs> that is why they will describe you in a wrong way. Because they love to see others join them. 
Ah, is it this person? You said this person is this. Ah, they will join us. Ah, let's come. Oh, you mean this person is like this? Oh, this person, I thought I was going to give him a job. I will not give him again. Oh, they want people to join them. But in all of their describing in an evil way, they see that God is still favoring you. You know, when you serve the Lord, you will find favor in the sight of men and God. You will find favor in the sight of men and God. To somebody hear me? You'll find favor in the sight of men and God. No matter how the world try to describe you. Oh, don't go to her. She's this. People will still come to you. That is a blow to your enemy. Ah, don't pray for her. People will still pray for you. That is a blow to your enemy. People will, you know, people will, we will, will, will say, ah, don't, 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 don't even mind her. Don't mind what that one is doing. People will still mind you. That is a defeat to your enemy. Why? Because God is defending you. God has searched and see that there is no reason why you should not be supported. There is no reason. There is nothing that you are really doing wrong that will make God to say, I hate you. God never hates us. Even when we are wrong, he wants us to repent. He chastises the ones that he loves. There are some prayers that I pray sometimes for myself. I'm like, Lord, if I am falling, if I'm doing something that is not okay, chastise me. Correct me. So that I don't go deep in the thing and get lost. Chastise me. You know, when God is chastising some Christians, they are angry with the Lord. When there is correction, they are like, no, they want to cover that part. No. When you are allowed to... When you allow the Lord to correct and chastise you, I'm telling you, you will see yourself always walking in the right path. Because if the Lord loves you, he will chastise you. He's a child that you love that you will correct. Oh, my son, go and put on a jacket. Can't you see it's cold? Maybe the son is telling you, you know, mommy, I will not wear jacket. Daddy, I don't want to wear jacket. And you see that it's a bit cold. You will tell the child you wear that jacket or you are not going to that place where you are going. When the child now see that, oh, you are not joking, you will go inside and say, wear the jacket. I don't want to, I don't want you to fall sick. Why are you saying that a child should put on a jacket? Because you don't want the child to go out there, use their body to take cold and become sick, right? If we are doing something wrong, for one that the Lord loves, he will just stand. Daughter, don't do this. When you are telling the Lord, I will do it, I will do it, he will say, you will not do it, else I will shut this thing down. And you will have to obey the Lord and say, okay, yes, Lord. So why? Because he loves you. He don't want you to go astray. They try to describe you in an evil way. You ask, why are they trying to describe me in a, a very evil way? A very evil way. It is because they want everyone to see you as an evil person. But in the process... God is still using people to see you as a good person. I don't know who you are. I need you to know that when you look around, everything that has been spoken, if it is, it is the Lord who has been defending you. It is the Lord. You see, in that community, in that office, it is God. Not that because you know how to do the thing so perfectly. No. It is God. It is God that said you will not perish. As I'm speaking, I'm just hearing John 3, 16. For God so loved you that he gave his only begotten son. Because you believe in him, you will not perish. But have a everlasting life. You will not perish in the hands of your enemy. You will not perish in the hands of those that want you, that are trying to describe you as an evil person. You will not perish. Hear me, the enemy cannot describe you in an evil way. No matter how they describe you in an evil way, it will not affect your life. Why? Because God is defending you. Can you tell yourself, God is defending me. God is defending me. And I pray that God will continue to defend you in the name of Jesus. 
It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.